Claude Monet is one of the most celebrated painters in the history of art. He is perhaps best known for his leadership in the development of the Impressionist method. Monet's paintings are rightly appreciated for the aesthetic delight that they provide. A close inspection of his art evidences a methodical exploration of how the artist's perception is translated into painting and how a painting's visual language may shape the viewer's approach to looking at the world around them. Monet's On the Bank of the Seine Bancourt captures a fleeting moment of relaxation in which the viewer may partake. The painting's bright colors laid down in bold brush marks give the work a sense of spontaneity. However, this work demonstrates how Monet's art is more than a picture to look at. This work is a methodically constructed visual proposition in how to perceive the world. Painted in 1868, On the Bank of the Seine is from near the end of Monet's first decade of art. In the 1860s, Monet developed an artistic method of painting in the outdoors, which in French is called plein air painting. This method was important to Monet's project of critically investigating the process by which the artist's observation of nature is translated into a painting's illusion of nature. At the painting's lower left, a woman sits on the bank of the Seine River. She is Camille Doncieux, the mother of Monet's child. Monet would marry her two years later. The village of Bancourt is across the river. There is a sight line from Camille towards the village that follows a diagonal line of recession of pictorial space. This lower left to upper right pictorial diagonal is balanced by a more painterly diagonal from the upper left to the lower right. In this part of the composition, the play of light filtering through the leaves and the distorting effect of the water surface break with pictorial description and encourage the viewer to find visual satisfaction in the artist's use of color and paint. In this compositional structure, Monet has balanced the pictorial movement from the lower left to the upper right with a more painterly material from the upper left to the lower right. In looking at On the Bank of the Seine, we experience a shift in perception. At the left, we see Camille sitting by the river. From where she is sitting, Camille can see the houses across the river. However, we cannot see what she sees. The opposite bank is concealed from us by the tree. We can only glimpse a house reflected in the river. However, as we read across the painting, from left to right, our sight across the river opens. This painting is an unfolding view in which we shift from looking at Camille to seeing across the river with Camille. On the bank of the Seine, evidences Monet's initial acceptance that a painting is a picture and that a picture should function like a window opening to the world. However, the painting's broad strokes of color begin to fragment the image. Over the course of his career, Monet steadily and strategically challenged the concept that the painting as paint on canvas was in the service of depicting a picture. This painting is one of the first examples of Monet's strategic use of water's reflective character as a means of compositional structure. Throughout his life, Monet would pursue an interest in painting water and the reflective quality of water. The motif of the Seine River flows through several decades of Monet's art. Monet devoted the last decades of his life to painting works such as water lilies. Water Lilies was painted in a garden in Giverny, which Monet had constructed for this very purpose. Giverny is less than five miles from Bencourt. However, if we compare on the bank of the Seine and Water Lilies, 
we can see how far Monet's art has traveled. While the pictorial differences between water lilies and on the bank of the Seine are self-evident, the similarities of method are significant. In On the Bank of the Seine, the translation of light reflecting on the river into the material of paint on the surface of the canvas evidences an exploration of the relationship between pictorial space and painterly surface. That project finds fulfillment in water lilies. Despite being painted 50 years apart, On the Bank of the Seine and Water Lilies both evidence Monet's interest in the reflective quality of water. However, recognizing this continuity in Monet's art may lead to the question of what it was about the reflective quality of water that held Monet's attention for more than a half century. Monet's artistic engagement with water's capacity to mirror the world around it was motivated by at least two possible objectives. First is the obvious visual beauty of this phenomenon. The visual delight that we find in Monet's art proceeds from his ability to see beauty in nature. There may have also been a second, more conceptually complex purpose for Monet's persistent return to water as a motif in his art. Water provided Monet with a motif that was simultaneously pictorial and disruptive of pictorialism. If a picture is like a window, the mirror-like quality of water is disruptive of the picture. As a depiction of the reflective surface of water, Water Lilies creates a visual experience that is both representational and non-representational. For Monet, Making paintings that were simultaneously representational and non-representational was not a game to entertain himself or an opportunity to confuse the viewer. Monet's work demonstrates how a painting is more than a picture to look at. The visual language of a painting also visualizes a method of perception or a strategy of looking at the world. Monet's half-century of painting water was a purposeful endeavor to make his own perception of the world visually and materially present for the viewer. In discussing Monet's art, it is useful to differentiate between two terms, method and style. A style is a look that is subjective and arbitrary. We see this, for example, in fashion. In one season, a certain color is in style, and then the next season it is out of style. There is nothing purposeful or objective in that stylistic change, but art is different than fashion. The artist employs an aesthetic method that corresponds to a perception of the world and the role that art has in the world. As a work of art, On the Bank of the Seine advances a strategy of art making and a method of seeing that was organically born out of Monet's contemporary experience. In his selection of subjects and his painting methods, Monet sought to make the transitory effect of perception realized in the material of paint. In On the Bank of the Seine Bancourt, this sense of modern purpose found visual form in Monet's aesthetic method. Monet's entire art, from his early landscapes, to his development of the Impressionist method, to his series paintings in the 1890s, to his final, nearly abstract paintings of water lilies, constitutes an experiment in the objective truth of his perception realized in paint. Claude Monet is one of the most conceptually rigorous iconographically consistent and aesthetically calculating painters in the history of art. 